right. Welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons Jr. at the table. You hear it. It's wood. It's shiny. It's nice. And on the other side of this, in fact, <laughs> table, it's probably three foot de- you know, width here. What are we, three, three and a half feet? About 40 maybe, inches? Maybe, so. maybe about there. Yeah, let's get a tape measure out. It is Randy <laughs> Angston. What's up, buddy? How are we doing, brother? Good. Good, good, good. Um, what do we got? We got our Fit Pro Grow Summit coming up in next June. Uh, you can also check out our coaching program, winninggym.com slash grow if you're interested in coaching. Uh, but we're going to get right into this topic because I am hot and uh, furious about <laughs> what I'm hearing in the industry today. So I'll take you, I'll give you a little story. I was uh, on a call. Somebody had reached out to me and, and was like, hey, you know, asking tons of questions. And if you listen to a couple episodes ago, I was like, yeah, I get these kind of questions all the time. And, and you know, kind of came down to like, it, it, I was a little concerned about this guy's business and I wanted to get on a call with him. I was like, listen, man, I'm, I'm open for a couple hours from now. You want to jump on a call? He's like, absolutely. Let's jump on a call. Um, and, you know, I got to talk with this uh, gentleman. He's been in our ecosystem for a while. As a yeah. fact, he's uh, done some of our coaching stuff and, you know, you know, years ago and he's kind of coming back around and he's asking him what's going on with the business. And um, he was telling me what he was doing and that he just signed up for this program to be named nameless at this point. Um, paid this company forty two thousand uh, dollars to be in, you know, for a year's worth of their thing they're offering. Sure. So I was like, whoa, 42K, what, what's going on? You must be getting a, a ton of stuff, right? Yeah. Did you buy a franchise? Um, pretty much. And so basically it came down to a six week challenge. Yep. Six week challenge, which I thought was dead, which I thought people had learned their lesson from. If you guys want to go listen to our uh, rise and fall, of the six week challenge is episode 50. So 300 episodes ago, we, we talked about this specific thing. I thought this was done. Um, so what, what, what this company does is they sign you up for this astronomical fee and they're going to you know promise you the world right you're going to get 250 clients a month 300 clients a month or leads a month you're going to you know if you, even if you closed 10% of those it'll more than pay for this $42,000 thing and you know you're just going to do it our way and you're going to basically run a 6 week challenge you're going to tell people it's free when they come in they're going to put a big deposit down if they get to a specific goal if they meet the guidelines of the program they're going to get that money back but we don't want to really give it the back. So we want to layer it over the next year, kind of credit them forward. So for six weeks, you're just going to service these folks and it's going to be all, you know, everything's rainbows and butterflies and yeah. unicorns flying, you know, you're out in the field catching butterflies in the field and, you know, skipping, right? Frolicking. Frolicking in the, uh, in the uh, wealth of, <laughs> that you were going to be having. So um, got to talk and he was a couple of weeks into the program. I was like, how's it going? He's like, well, you know, not so good. I go, what do you mean not so good? Well, I got my Facebook account shut down. My page is banned. I'm, I can't even do it. I had to get my brother and my sister-in-law involved and they had to create a new business manager. I'm like, wait a minute, why? Well, yeah, you know, I guess this happens every so often with this thing and, you know, they shut you down and it's just no big deal. I'm like, so wait, you burned your your, pay, your page? You can't get to your page? So you just wiped your your whole f- Facebook page out? You'll have to start new? Yeah, you took out your entire social media, pre- your Facebook presence because to, of a, to run this thing. To run a marketing campaign. It's, you know, it's it's a marketing campaign. I mean, I know they'll, they'll tell you it's a business model and even the models, you know, I could even It's even get, more scary. Yeah. So I was like, what do you, so he's, he's shut down. He can't get any leads. They're still billing them. I'm like, dude, I, I feel bad. Right. Immediately I started getting pissed yeah. off because this goes against exactly what we believe in. Right. You know, the, you're, you're trying to help people. But now you're, you're billing somebody, you're not delivering anything for them. And you're, and you're, you're basically making this guy start from scratch. And I was like, okay, so you know, you ran it for a couple of weeks. How's it going? Well, we got some leads and, you know, I've met with some people. They just don't, I don't understand where these people are coming from because my area is kind of at this level, you know, and I look at my parking lot, there's Mercedes and nice vehicles and, and you know, but these folks are just not where, I don't even know where these people live. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, I, I mean, not to get too into it, but like I, they can't afford what we're offering and like in there. And I say, so let me ask you one question. Does that ad say free? He yep. goes, yeah, it's uh, it says free. I go, well, of course you're going to attract people that don't have money. Right. Doesn't that make sense? Something, anybody that wants something for free is, you know, looking to save money. I get yeah. it. Right. It makes kind of total sense. And so he's like, yeah, just something's, something's off. I'm like, dude, what did they tell you to get you to, to sign $42,000 of your business over to these guys? Like, what, what did they tell you? Well, I go, let, before you answer, I go, did they, you know, promise this, you know, 
you know, look at all these other guys that they're making, you know, 50, 80, a hundred thousand dollars a month more than they're making now. Yeah, that's exactly what they said. And it's just going to pay for itself. I was like, well, how's it working? Because it's not working. I go, well, what are you doing about it? He goes, I don't know. And I'm like, so you're stuck. I'm like, and he's like, yeah. I was like, well, you better call him. Yeah. You better call him. And so this, this, this particular conversation just happened yesterday. And I was like, God, this is so bad for the industry. It's so bad for gyms. It's absolutely destroying this guy, the gym, and many other gyms. And, you know, I posted this in the group, in the, in the business talk about fitness professionals group. And I said, I can't believe it's still happening. And it was story after yep. story after story of getting burned and my shit got shut down and my business is, you know, I'm coming it's on life support. And I was like, oh my God. And, and it just pisses me off. Well, and, and the reason that it's so aggravating is because we can go back. You know, I mean, like you said, we we talked about this in episode 50. Well, the reason that was clear there is because this was happening to gyms then. Yes. And this is, it, all of this is, is, is further down the hill. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I, I remember having a talk, talk to you about this, like after that call, you, cause you were pissed. Yeah. Um, you know, we had clients that were part of this organization years ago in the same exact boat crying because they literally in tears. Yes. Because they felt handcuffed to this organization for more money than they could afford to continue to pay because their business is obviously not going the direction they promised it to. And their only solution is go run the play harder. Well, if your solution doesn't work, you can't tell a client to go back and do it more, period. Like the only, you need something else. You need an option. If you can't deliver on your promise, you can't hold somebody to, to you know, the pay that they can't afford. Like th there was no other solution other than you're doing it wrong. Do it this way. He's like, I am doing it that way. Well, then you're doing it wrong. Another reason way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well then show me how. And there was never an answer. Well, and that's frustrating. That's, that's unethical. The I whole, mean, that's the thing. That's the reason it gets me so worked up too. The whole concept's flawed from the beginning, Correct. right? So if you're, if you're thinking about the concept of we're going to tell people this program's free. They're going to come in with the idea it's free. We're going to turn that table on them and be like, look, you know, we need you to put skin in the game for you to be accountable to this because if it were free, you wouldn't do it. Okay. Then they buy in, right? You're already being deceptive. Then they do the thing and now they kind of want their money back, but you hold that from them and say, listen, this is just the beginning and I want you to continue on. Let's go ahead and credit that forward. And let's just say they say, you know what? That's a pretty good idea because, yeah, this is only six weeks of my life. I do want to change for the life. G great. Maybe you've convinced them of that. And now, again, this is you versus them. And, you, and it t comes with a lot of tact and sales presence and, all you know, um, NLP techniques and all this, like, deceptive practice. Then when you finally do get them to join, you're taking less and less each month from each one of these payments because you're cr you gave them a credit and now you're you're trying you no know, let's just say that year's done or maybe you rolled it out for 6 months and now it's time to get them on the regular price they're not going to do that because you just you just service them for 6 months a 12 months at this lower rate why are you going to they're not going to continue on at this higher rate it's this perpetual D downward spiral of your entire business. So now you've got people coming in on less rates. You've got the wrong people. You've got the, the mindset of six weeks and I'm done. They don't join after you got to credit back. It's like, it's a complete mess. And, and the, the one thing that, that kind of like makes sense to gym owners, why this works is if I'm taking this big front end from these people, it will pay for my ad spend. Therefore I can spend more and beat my competition. And all the leads would be in my gym. And that's what they're thinking but there's other ways and way better ways to do this. And, you know, we teach the math of marketing, winninggym.com slash math. If you want to listen to the, the, the episode on how to kind of figure out your marketing spend and your return on ad spend, but you're burning your gyms down, guys. You are killing yourselves. And this was not sustainable. I just don't, I just, I hate everything that this has to do. And I, we're very intimate with this program. We're very intimate. Oh, yeah. We know we, before the conception of this program existed, we knew about it prior to that years ago. And yeah, these guys are great salespeople. And I feel bad for anybody who gets on a call with these folks because they're better at sales than you are. And well, they're going to get you to buy. And that's exactly, I'm glad you said that because it's a great transition to the way that I see this whole thing. It's, it's, it is literally sales over everything. 
it's it's what they're doing is they're taking your facility and they're turning into you, you into a used car dealership where you as a salesperson has to sell something that you probably don't have full confidence or comfort around because you know that the second that client signs up, the the wheels are falling off of it. But you don't care about that because you're too concerned or you're too busy with the next person standing in front of you to sell. And so if you keep your focus on, oh, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling, and the people are joining your facility in a position that, again, pins them against you. They're not there for the long haul. They're they're there because of a, a quick, immediate gratification type desire. Of course, they're falling off in a matter of a month, two months, three months, eight weeks, 10 weeks, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. The other end of the coin is marketing for those lifestyle clients. You know, our whole business model is is around building an EFT of sustainable long-term clients, like the exact opposite way of go, going and building your business. Yes. And so if you look at the the left versus the right, if those were the bookends of your options, which one would you want? Do you want to have to replace your entire business every six weeks? Because that's that's really all you're promising to your consumer. That's all you're delivering upon. Or would you rather build a business and have an identity and an, and a, a oh shit, I mean, personally, I believe a moral compass on what you're delivering to the marketplace. That is what you want it to be, right? Your market your marketing represents your brand, your offer, your facility, what you do differently. Not my gym is a representation of what this program sells. And that's the problem we've talked about before. You're, you're paying a marketing company to build your fitness, you know, representation as opposed to uh, a marketing agency that's, that's, or a marketing program structure, even ads for yourself that position what you are. You know what I mean? To the market. To the market. Yeah. That's the right, that's the way it should be. Exactly. So you're changing your entire model. Like when you, when you, before these people came into your lives, you, you were doing something a certain way. And when they come in and say, hey, we're going to run this thing, you've got to change your model. That's red flag number one. Absolutely. Like I've got to change my own model to fit what you're selling to the market on my behalf. No, guys, like whose business is this? This is your business. You, People need, you know, gym owners are very, um, I guess, naive to to this shiny ball, right? To the promise of riches, right? Like there's nothing in this world that is an easy way to riches, right? Like if you just put that in your in your head, it's like, man, if it sounds too good to be true, it might be, it might, it might not be, but it might be. Let me, let me be a little bit more skeptical sure. about then everybody wins in this program. No, you you may win for a month, two months, six months, but I guarantee, I guarantee it year, a year or two go by and you, you're trying to continue this program or those clients that signed up in, in the year one and challenge one and three and five, they're, they're gone. They're out of there or they're, you're servicing them for way less per month than everybody else in your business that came in on a normal way. And the other end of the, another problem that we haven't even really addressed is the fact that they have sold very well. So you and your consumers, or excuse me, and your competition are running the exact same offer with the exact same ads and the exact same copy and the exact same language and the exact same imagery and the exact same, you know, you are your competition. There's no difference. You, you want, this is the race to the bottom. This is a, this is the exact opposite of everything that we teach for marketing. I just You're, can't believe it's still around. I can't oh. believe, unfortunately, people are, are still being sold by it. Yeah. Yeah. For $42,000. Like, yeah, dude, that's the scariest thing. Promise of riches. It, it sucks, guys. I feel, you know, we're hot on this because this is the conversation I just had yesterday and it's very fresh in my mind and it blew me away that like, they're still pulling this shit off. And burning the accounts down in the process. Like that's your, your lifeline. Like if, if your traffic is coming from Facebook, think about that being the road into your gym and all of a sudden it disappears. And now nobody can get into your gym anymore because that roads under construction or it was buried because you the know, marketing company, because it was a byproduct of a, something you paid somebody else to do in yeah. the promise of it being better. Right. And then once it happened, there's no solution for fixing it. No, but there's still the expectation of pay. you paying them. But th that is the, probably one of the best analogies that you could have used. Yeah. Shut down the traffic, the ability to get to your gym. Because yeah. that's what they've done. Yep. That's exactly what they've done. They've shut down that business, that whole pole in the water. Yeah. 
And that is, oh man, it, it's, it, we're going to get more heated. <laughs> it's, it's sad. I mean, listen guys, um, I understand a lot of you that sign up with this company or a company similar to this particular company that, you know, you, you have high hopes and by the way, that's a technique of their of, of the way they sell. It's like they're, they're called future pacing. They're future pacing. What would life be like when X, Y, and Z happen? But to get there, we're going to have to burn your Facebook accounts down. We're going to have to, you have to change your model. You have to coerce and, and, and dupe people into signing up for this. And then once they do, yeah, you're going to have that money. I don't want anything to do with that. And not, not one of those solutions sound desirable. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. So listen, guys, I know who, you know who we're talking about. I know you've, a lot of you listener, you know, either big fans of theirs or you're, um, you know, been burned by them. I'd love to hear your top, your, your thoughts, go to business talk with fitness professionals. We got the post up and I'll pin it. So you guys can jump in and be like, yeah, it, it, I, I would love, I would love to hear success story from this. Like, oh my God, I've been running this for four years and my business is, so, you know, so solid right now. And I've, you know, I've been able to open two more locations and, and everything is amazing. Like, I would love to hear that story because I'm sure that's like none. <laughs> There's yeah. none. I, yeah. I don't know. So anyways, um, hopefully that helps. I mean, it, it's just something that's fresh in my mind. And I just want you guys to be, a, uh, you know, aware, aware, aware. Um, be careful out there. There's a lot of, a lot of bad stuff that happens in the industry. Hopefully, um, <laughs> You don't get stuck, but uh, if if you need help, join our fitness talk or no, it's business talk with fitness professionals Facebook group. Love to hear from you. Hopefully that helps. That's it for this episode. Until next time, keep changing lives. Bye. All right, and thank you for listening to that episode of the Built to Grow podcast, where we help gym owners win. Now, do you want to connect with me and other gym owners online? All you need to do is join our private Facebook group, Business Talk with Fitness Professionals. Just head on over to Facebook and type in Business Talk with Fitness Professionals, and when you do. We're going to give you our 10 marketing strategies seven-figure gym owners use to win. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, keep building something great.